Let's still stay with the NDC, this time to the Ashanti region, where leadership have accused the Ghana Police Service of displaying bias in law enforcement, particularly concerning incidents involving NDC members. In response to a recent statement by the police, the party has announced its intention to accompany the Minshia South constituency organiser to the police headquarters on Tuesday for further investigation, citing concerns over fairness. Reporting from the Ashanti region, City News' correspondent Hafiz Tijani provides insight. Mustafa Al Hassan, a figure sought by the police in the Ashanti region, has garnered attention following the circulation of a video where he allegedly made threats of electoral violence. The NDC contends that Al Hassan was merely responding to provocative remarks made by a member of the ruling New Patriotic Party. He's learning from the president. The only unsaid and only unthinkable things that can be said by any politician is all die be die. And you watch the video. He said that if you rake me, if you steal me. And that was the whole conversation about. And it was a conversation between an MPP person and an NDC person. Why did they omit the part of the MPP person? Why is it that the police is not interested in what the MPP person said? Said that we will rig the election. That was what the MPP person said. We will rig the election. And even if Don Mahama wins, we are not going to declare him president. These are serious and treasonable issues that a president is elected in this country and someone is saying that even if a president is elected, we're not going to declare that person as president. It is treasonable. And that is a point of interest as well. So you go and edit the video and just cut the part out that, oh, uh, the organizer is saying that if you rig me, I'm not going to sit and look. And I want to send a strong warning to everyone that we are not going to sit and look to watch anyone rig the 2024 elections. And if that is the plan of the MPP, then they better go to bed with it because we are not going to allow them rig the 2024 elections. And that signal must be sent clear to each and every one, every Tom, Dick, and Harry in the MPP that they have failed the country. So if their only option is to rig the elections, then they should forget it. Because we are ready for power and we are ready to ensure that the Secretary General Ramani Mahama is elected President of the Republic of Ghana. Expressing discontent with the police's handling of the situation, the NDC calls for equitable treatment and urges authorities to investigate similar public statements made by MPP members. Dr. Frank Amwakuhene, the Ashanti Regional Secretary of the NDC, emphasizes the party's commitment to safeguarding the integrity of the electoral process in the upcoming 2024 elections and urges the police to uphold impartiality. Katie Amon was on TV threatening in front of police officers that they were going to beat people to the, uh, his opponent to the pub. IGP did not say anything about it. The police didn't, didn't, didn't consider inviting him to explain what he meant by he was going to organize tax, metro men to beat people, a minister of state, yet an organizer, constituency organizer, having a debate with his colleague and person who claims to be prepared to steal the verdict of the people. And you're saying that you are inviting him and you're declaring him wanted. It is a non-starter issue, and we are ready to defend the verdict of the people in 2024. What do you expect from the police? They should be professional and they should be fair and just. We should see action taken by them when the matters involve MPP. They should first invite Katie Hammond. He is a minister of state. He controls a whole constituency as MP. He is a minister of state. They should first invite Katie Hammond so that we know that when issues come and they concern the MPP, they will equally take action. Okay, and they should stop being politically and uh, overly populist about issues. They should be fair, and that is what we are asking from them. Because they seem to be only interested when matters in, uh, uh, concern the NDC. During a party meeting convened on Monday to address the issue, it has been decided that the NDC will accompany the constituency officer to the police for further clarification. The leadership of the NDC in the Ashanti region says it has taken notice of statement by the police and says it will present the officer to the police to assist in investigation. But the NDC wants it to defend the ballot in the 2024 elections. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Kumase, Ashanti region.